Hello, and welcome to K&J Real Reacts. She's Kaja, I'm Joe, and today we are watching the 1984 classic Ghostbusters. We are. Kaja, do you know anything about this movie? Dan Aykroyd. Ghost. Stuff happens. <laughs> That's, That's about it? Yeah. All right. So, um, I don't want to spoil too much. I don't want to say anything, really. Mm-hmm. So this will probably be our shortest kind of preamble before we kick it off to the movie. Okay. Uh, I think you'll see some familiar faces. So excited. I've heard amazing things about this movie, and I do know it has an all-star cast. Yeah. So I'm really excited, but also I just have never watched it. But yeah. So we are watching Ghostbusters uh, because the new movie Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is coming out. Mm -hmm. It's kind of getting mixed reviews, but uh, we wanted to react to something a little Ghostbusters related since that's kind of the big movie coming out in theaters. So if there's a movie coming out that, you know, maybe there's a connection to it or, you know, something that comes out, you know, like it's a sequel that's coming in theaters and you think we should react to the original. Let us know in the comments, and we will try to make that happen. Yeah, definitely. All right, so uh, let's watch some Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Spooky music. Did this come out um, originally or on Um, that I don't know. I would assume it did because ghosts. Yeah. And they're wearing sweaters. I think old ladies always wear sweaters all the time. There was a guy in the back. He was wearing like a, an Argyle sweater. Well, he's probably old too. He was young. You never know these days. He was he was young. Now he's old. Then he was young. Mm -hmm. Cute, cute. How'd you feel if I cut my hair her length? Not a fan. Oh. Okay. How would you feel if I grew my hair out that length? You're your own man, as long as you don't have a mullet. I almost grew out a mullet, like, right before we met, too. No, you didn't. Thought about it. Thinking about it and being about to do it. Two different things. Yeah, you quit. This <laughs> is when you quit. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming like the old librarian is is the one that's tormenting her because she's like, oh, you don't file these things correctly. The neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? You're supposed to say Ghostbusters. Said it. Good. Who are you gonna call? They said it. So Peter Venkman doesn't have, or I would say he has enemies. Fair. Hey, he shrunk the kids. Square. Wait, that's but not yes, him. Just wrong. kidding. I tried. Right. Do I know her? Tell me what you think. She looks familiar, but I don't remember if she was in anything. Is it a star? I might just recognize her from this. Star. Very good. That's great. Fucking liar. Is he lying because he wants to sleep with her? Duh. Wouldn't you? What is it? Figure eight. Incredible. It's five for five. You can't see these, can no, you? No, no. You're not cheating me, are you? No, I swear. They're just coming to me. What are they trying to do? He's testing like paranormal and parapsychological stuff to see if they can tell what's on the card without seeing it. So no, neither of them. It's a couple of wavy lines. Sorry, this isn't your lucky day. She's not gonna do it. I'm getting a little tired of this. He did it. You can keep the five bucks I've had. I will. <laughs> five dollars to electrocute somebody? Uh, that could buy you a McDonald's meal in 1984. Buy you a steak dinner. Peter, at 1.40 p.m. at the main branch of the New York Public Library on Fifth Avenue, ten people witnessed a free-floating full-torso vaporous apparition. Ooh, this is creepy. 
I'm very excited. I'm very pleased. I want you to get right down there, check it out, and get back to me. No, okay? no. Get right back no, to me. No, Peter, you're coming with us on this one. I feel like if ten people saw... He's yeah. trying to have sex. I know I'm not talking about him. I'm I'm talking about Ackroyd. Like I'm saying like some more. Perhaps there shouldn't be like a, oh maybe there's a ghost maybe there's not because it's like dude. <laughs> Why are these people still studying there? Because people don't believe in ghosts. If ten people saw. This is Big Peter. This is very yeah, he was the one that directed um, Groundhog Day that we watched. The time you turn Him? Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Alice, I'm going to ask you a couple of standard questions, okay? Have you or any member of your family ever been diagnosed schizophrenic, mentally incompetent? My uncle thought he was St. Jerome. I'd call that a big yes. <laughs> uh, are you, Alice, menstruating right now? That's oddly specific. What has that got to do with it? Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Look. That's creepy. It was not like that before. Do you know who plays the fourth Ghostbuster? Symmetrical book stacking. Just like He's the black. Philadelphia Man's Book in 1947. I want to say Eddie Murphy, right. but then no, I feel like that's racism. I don't remember. So, fun fact Eddie Murphy was <laughs> supposed to be the fourth Ghostbuster. That's why I know, because I used to watch all those um, TV shows that were on VH1 about like. Decades yeah. pass. But Ooh. then he had, I want to say, like a scheduling conflict or something, and so they replaced him with somebody else. Beverly Hills Cop? Maybe. Bankman, get a sample of this. I don't want to touch that. When somebody blows their nose and you want to keep it, I'm like the <laughs> If somebody is blowing their nose and that's the amount that's coming out, mm. then there's a blockage somewhere. <laughs> yeah. They need to see a doctor. Uno, dos, tres. Ah! This way! So, also fun fact, Dan Aykroyd wrote this movie because his parents are ghost hunters. Really? Yeah. That's kind of cool. He wanted it to be, like, a super, like, serious, like, in this world, like, Ghostbusters, like, there's teams of Ghostbusters, and then over time, they got rewritten to be kind of, like, an origin story for, a ghost, for like, the first Ghostbusters. Torso apparition, and it's real. So what do we do? That's literally your job. They don't know. Have we've... they never seen one before? Yeah, they're basically like, I don't know. We've never made it this far before. Oh my gosh! Come here, freak. I'm a dog chasing cars. I wouldn't know what to do with one if I caught it. You know, I just do things. How do you call yourself Ghostbusters if you've never seen a ghost think. before? They're not Ghostbusters yet. Oh, J.K. L.L. This is like the origin story. Where are you from, originally? She's a librarian. Didn't I say she was going to okay. be a librarian? You said something to that effect. I said she was going to be a librarian, and she doesn't exactly fuck with that other lady. Now stay close. Stay close. Exactly as so I say. Just stay close. Get ready. Oh. Ready? Get her! <laughs> Same that was wild. That was so wild. According to these new readings, I think we have an excellent chance of actually catching a ghost and holding it indefinitely. Well, well this is Why? great. What is it with your movies and, like, we could really weird things? Like what? Like the Stormtroopers, or the, sorry, the Clone Troopers, and then they're talking about, oh, we want to take a ghost hostage. Should they let it free roam the library? Yeah. The Board of Regents has decided to terminate your grant. You are to vacate these premises immediately. This is preposterous. I demand an explanation. Your theories are the worst kind of popular tripe. Your methods are sloppy and your conclusions are highly questionable. You are a poor scientist, Dr. Finkman. Why you gotta be so mean? Well, I like the university. They gave us money and facilities. We didn't have to produce anything. You've never been out of college. You don't know what it's like out there. I've worked in the private sector. They expect results. <laughs> that was a fucking shot fire, dude. I believe that we were destined to get thrown out of this dump. For what purpose? To go into business for ourselves. Where are they supposed to be? What do you mean? 
Containment what city? system that Spengler and I have in mind is going to require New York. a load of bread to catch. Are they in NYU? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's ever like specified. You're never going to regret this race. Everybody has three mortgages nowadays. But at nineteen <laughs> percent, you didn't even bargain with the 19%. guy. Nineteen percent. His office space, sleeping quarters, and showers. Uh, I have a question. Did they check before they did this to tablet. see if you could it even just seems see a little pricey the for a unique ghost fixer -upper on opportunity, the video? Uh, probably. What do you think, Egon? Probably. That's not good. This building should be. There's serious metal fatigue in all the load-bearing members. The wiring is substandard. It's completely inadequate for our power needs. Hey, does this pole still work? Wow, this place is great. When can we move in? Bruh. You know her. I love her. You know oh, him no, too. No, I'm fine. I feel great. I taped 20 minute workout on my machine and played it back at high speed, so it only took 10 minutes. I got a great workout. <laughs> I'm having a big party for all my clients. My fourth anniversary is an accountant, you know. And even though you do your own tax return, which you shouldn't do, I'd like you to stop by, being that you're my neighbor and all. Mm. No, thank you, Lewis. I'll really try to stop by. She won't be there. Don't Listen, get me started me. You on taxes. Leave your TV on so loud when you go out. The creep tax is theft. No, that's not what I was going to say. I'm going to have a shower. Cool. I, sir. <laughs> Are you troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or any of your family ever seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer uh, is yes, then don't wait another minute. Pick up your phone and call rent. the police. Our courteous and efficient staff is on call 24 hours a day to serve all your supernatural elimination needs. It's getting spooky. No. Did you just move here? Same. Uh, there's been, I feel like there's like an awakening, you know? There's what? There's been an awakening. Oh my gosh! Hi. I always Any think messages? of her from Sixteen Candles. Uh, Annie Potts. Yeah. Any customers? She's very handy, I can tell. <laughs> I bet you like to read a lot too. Oh, I just have a dirty mind. Okay. Some people think. I mean, I think it's a little both. Oh, Woody. Why didn't you just call them? Because then you don't get a meet cute. Is there a meet cute? I'd like to talk to someone, please. I'm Peter Vinkman. May I help you? Um, well, uh, I don't know. What I have to say may sound a little unusual. Oh, it's all we get day in, day out around this place. <laughs> Come into my office, miss. Uh, Dana Barrett. She's disgusted. And the voice said, Zool. You know what it could be? Past life experience intruding on present time. Could be a race memory stored in the collective unconscious. I don't believe in any of those things. Well, that's all right. You saw a demon I... in your fridge, lady. But there are some. And also, like, why would you go to the Ghostbusters like this, if you didn't believe any of this was well, real? I could look for the name Zool in the usual literature. Spates catalog. Tobin's spirit guide. Yeah. Tell you what, <laughs> I'll take Miss Barrett back to her apartment and check her out. I'll go check out Miss Barrett's apartment. So, no one heard my filthy faux pas. He likes her. I swear to God. No, he doesn't. He just wants to have sex with her. This oh, man punches. Thing. No, that's not the same thing. This man punches every single happen. movie he's in. He was in, a... in real life because he's dating Khalees. My God. He was in a movie where his love interest was Scarlett Johansson, okay? Like I said, punching. Just like me. That was nice. I like to torture him. That's right, boys. It's Dr. Venkman. I'm so scared. That's the bedroom, but nothing ever happened in there. Not yet. Dr. Venkman, you've come all this way. Would you like to check the refrigerator? No. Better check the fridge. Look at all the junk food. Let me tell you something about myself. I come home from work to my place, and all I have is my work. There's nothing else in my life. Dr. Venkman. I meet you. And I say, my God, there's someone with the same problem I have. Yes, we what? both have the same problem. You. <laughs> same. Yeah. I'll bet you're going to be thinking about me after I'm gone. I bet I am. 
No kiss. Ew. Classic Bill Murray. Thank you. I just now realized this is a firehouse, an abandoned firehouse. Not proud of that part. Okay. We won't judge you too much. Thanks. I hope we could take care of this quietly. Tonight. Yes, sir. Don't worry. We handle this kind of thing all the time. Lies. Debauchery. What are you supposed to be? Some kind of a cosmonaut? <laughs> no, we're exterminators. Somebody saw a cockroach up on 12. That's got to be some cockroach. <laughs> Why worry? Each of us is wearing an unlicensed nuclear accelerator on his back. Yep. Let's get ready. Switch me on. Why didn't they wait until after they, like, saw what the ghost was before they turned on their machines? Uh, because they don't know what they're dealing with and they don't really know what they're doing, so they're just kind of flying by the seat of their pants. But they also didn't even know if that thing would work. Well, it does. Well, they know it does something. Now, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Shoot it. So when they wrote this movie, uh, John Belushi was originally supposed to be in it as one of the Ghostbusters, but then he eventually died before, you know, in the process of pre-production, essentially. And so they put this ghost, Slimer, in the movie as like an homage to John Belushi. Wait, is he stuffing his face? It's just like a wild and crazy ghost. We are... To wild and crazy guys! How come the other ghosts look like a person? There's different types of apparitions. Come in, Ray. Pitman! I saw it, I saw it, I saw it! It's right here, Ray. It's looking at me. He's an ugly little spud, isn't he? Look at him. That smug, Belushi bastard. He slimed me. That's great! Actual Aww. physical contact! Like Can you move? Nickelodeon. Okay, sir, if you and your staff could please wait out here, we'll take care of everything. <laughs> right, boys. Ready? Throw it! There's something very important I forgot to tell you. What? Don't cross the streams. If we were pissing, we cross streams. Why? It would be bad. I'm fuzzy on the whole good, bad thing. What do you mean bad? Try to imagine all life as you know it stopping instantaneously and every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. Yeah, that. Let's not do that one. That's bad. OK. All right, important safety tip. Thanks, Egon. <laughs> Ray. Ew. Okay, Gotta get this in the clear. Wait, 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 wait. I've always wanted to do this. And the flowers are still standing. Okay, on my go, single. Spangler. Thanks, man. Throw it in your stream. I don't want my face burned off. All right, I'm opening the trap now. Don't look directly into the trap. I looked at the trap, Ray. Turn your streams off as soon as I close the trap. Get ready. I'm closing it. Now! <laughs> You caught it. Mr. Smith, quickly, I want that door open now. Oh my god. That was gonna be so bad. So we kicked its ass. You're a tad late. We're gonna have to ask you for four big ones, four thousand dollars for that. But we are having a special this week on proton charging and storage of the beast, and that's only gonna come to one thousand dollars, fortunately. Five thousand dollars? I had no idea to be so much, I won't pay it. Thank you. you didn't ask them how much it was going to cost. No. I feel like $5,000 to trap a ghost is 
today. I mean, honestly. Eastern... Heck, my grandma used to spin yarns about a spectral locomotive that would rocket past the farm Jared where she Leto? grew up. <laughs> now, That's Jesus. Mm, no. It's strange. In your neighborhood. Who are you going to call? Good. Who are you going to call? Your fun. Hi, this is Larry King. The phone in topic today wow. ghosts and ghosts. Going from controversy builds, more sightings doing and nothing some maintain that to catching ghosts like two in a row at least. In it's wild. What are they going to do with all these ghosts? They, they storm them at the. For why? For what? For how? Well, they don't really know how to destroy them, so they're just storing them. No job is too big. No fee is too big. Is it just the <laughs> Sir? What oh, the? this gets wild. That was all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're called the Ghost Busters, all right? Nasty. Oh, hi! Do you believe in UFOs, astral projections, mental telepathy, Loch Ness Monster, and the theory of Atlantis? Uh, if there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll believe anything you say. <laughs> this is Winston Zedmore. He's here about the job. Beautiful. You're hired. Ray Stance, Pete Venkman. Congratulations. Can you help me, please? See how easy that is? What are the qualifications for this job? Point the... the... thing at the ghosts. This is where we store all the vapors and entities and slimers that we trap. Very simple, really. A loaded trap here. Open. Unlock the system. Insert the trap. Uh, I have a question. Release. Yeah. Are they all going to be released Close, on accident? No. Not in this movie, but in one of the next movies. No, not in any of the movies. They were released on purpose. She knows me well. There's a man from the EPA here to see you. He's waiting in your office. I'm Walter Peck. I represent the Environmental Protection Agency, the third Ew. district. Great. And how many ghosts have you caught, Mr. Peck? More than you. And where do you put these ghosts once you catch them? Into a storage facility. And may I see this storage facility? Why wouldn't you just no. lie? Frankly, there have been a lot of wild stories in the media. I don't trust him, actually. Now you either show me what is down there, or, or I'll come back with a court order. You go get a court order. I mean... And I'll sue your ass for wrongful prosecution. You can have it your way, Mr. Venkman. Oh, uh, he works at Burger King. Let's say this Twinkie represents the normal amount of psychokinetic energy in the New York area. According to this morning sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> That's a big Twinkie. Is it a mirage or just product placement? I was gonna ask him, like, this seems like a lot of ghosts in one small time period. No. So basically, what I'm hearing is the key to all this ghost situation going on right now is in her apartment. Oh, Dana, it's you! Yeah, pretty much. You gotta come in here, you're missing a classic party! Yes, well, I would, Lewis, but I have a date. With the way that guy is dancing, I think we're fine. <laughs> we're gonna play Twister, we're gonna do some break dancing. Hey, hey let me in! Dude. <laughs> Lewis, Dude. I love Lewis. I am still caught on the rent on that place. Right. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. Go hang out with old dude. Oh my god, are we ever gonna see 
see Sigourney again? What? Are we ever gonna see Sigourney again? I mean, she's in other movies, you know. Avatar. You think it's too warm in here for the Brie? Louis, I'm going home. I'm going to leave yet. And listen, maybe if we start dancing, other people will join in. Okay. Oh, don't move. I just gotta get the door. Who doesn't love Louis? 15,000 left on the house at 8%. So they're okay. So, does anybody want to play Parcheesi? <laughs> Yeah, okay, guess the fuck. Who brought the dog? <laughs> <laughs> same. Help! Fucking same. Help! He left everyone in his fucking apartment. <laughs> he don't give a shit about them. They're clients. They're not friends. Why does it seem like it's following him? Like it doesn't care about anybody else but him. There might be would a I reason be right for that. In that assistant? Yeah, that you would be. That is it like specifically him and Sigourney, or is it just people that live in the apartment complex? It's specifically them. You little pooch. Maybe I got a milk bone. Ah! <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot he wasn't there for work, he was there for her. That's a different look for you, isn't it? Are you the key master? Not that I know of. <laughs> you should leave. Are you the key master? Yes. <laughs> what are we doing today, Zul? Prepare for the coming of Gozer. So how long did it take him to realize that she's possessed? Uh, about the time she said her name was Zul. Oh, cute, cute. Do you want this body? Is this a trick question? Take me now, sub-creature. We never talk anymore. <laughs> I make it a rule never to get involved with possessed people. <laughs> It should be a very hard and fast roll. I want you inside me. No, I can't. Sounds like you got at least two people in there already. I do appreciate the fact that he's... Yeah. He was kind of with it at first, I think, maybe just to appease her, because, you know, he doesn't want to die. Mm -hmm. But he's also, like, not really about it. Dana? I mean, yeah. There is no Dana. There is only Zoom. Oh, Zuli, you nut now. Come on. Come on, I want to talk to Dana. Dana. There is no Dana, only Zul. What a lovely singing voice you must have. <laughs> so, um, old dude's possessed too. Who's, who's old dude? Bill Murray? No, him. Oh, the key master? No, not him. No, that guy, no, he's not possessed. He's just. Oh, yeah, he's a little possessed now. Gee, you think so? Yeah, he's all possessed. I am Vince. Vince Clortho, key master of Gozer. Volca Sildra, our lord of the Sebulia. Are you the gatekeeper? <laughs> Whoever's possessing them wants to get the ghosts free, right? Yeah. Okay. He didn't call. Are you the gatekeeper? You better bring him inside. Bill Murray didn't call him. What sign are you waiting for? Gozer the Traveler. He will come in one of the pre-chosen forms. During the rectification of the Valdrani, the Traveler came as a large and moving tour. Something very strange about that man. No. I have some news from the world of Gozer. What is it, Peter? I'm here with Dana Barrett. It seems the Goz has been putting some moves on my would-be girlfriend. How is she? Okay, buddy. I th she says she's the gatekeeper. Does that make any sense to you? Some. I just met the key master. He's here with me now. Isn't that a coincidence? We have to get these two together. Or maybe you shouldn't. I think that would be extraordinarily dangerous. <laughs> Bad news, honey. I gotta go to work. Hey, will you stay here in bed until I get back? I don't really feel like she should be by herself. Well, I guess she's not the fuck out, so... Well, she's not by herself. Zul's there. Ray, has it ever occurred to you? And maybe the reason we've been so busy lately is because the dead have been rising from the grave. 
You didn't mm -hmm. think about that? Before? Like, leave it to the black people to figure it out. We don't have time for this shit right now. We, like, legit don't have time for this shit. That is, officer. I'm Peter Venkman. I think there's just been a slight misunderstanding, and I want to cooperate in any way that I can. Forget it, Venkman. You had your chance to cooperate, but you thought it'd be more fun to insult me. Well, now it is my turn, wise ass. You I mean, you are insult worthy. You shut that thing down, and we are not going to be held responsible for whatever happens. Be no, responsible. we won't be. Shut it off. <laughs> Don't Famous shut it last off. words. Shut it off. Is he the reason people said that gingers have no soul? Yeah. Gingers have souls. I go to church. I'm a Christian. That sucks. Honestly, once I saw them looking like they're ready to get the fuck out, I would have also left. <laughs> Hold it! I want this man arrested! Captain, these men are a criminal violation of the Environmental Protection Act! And this explosion is a direct I mean, result of it! You're... you're it was you. It was literally you. They tried to warn you and you were like, nah, I'm not gonna listen. Now there's fucking ghosts just re... Oh, gosh. Columbia Building, 57th Street. I'm in a hurry, so let's not go. Let's uh, get out of the taxi cab. This is like in Halloween Town. Mm. But ain't the Cromwell kids. I hear your mother's in town. That uh, will cause some structural damage. Yeah. Hey, Gar! I want to make a phone call. Yeah, I just worked with these guys, and I wasn't even there! <laughs> Same. For a moment, pretend that I don't know anything about metallurgy, engineering, or physics, and just tell me what the hell is going on. You never studied. The whole building is a huge superconductive antenna. Your girlfriend lives in the corner penthouse of Spook Central. She's not my girlfriend. I find her interesting because she's a client and because she sleeps above her covers. Four feet above her covers. <laughs> we have to get out of here. We've got to Somebody find a judge or something. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, 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 hey. Hold it. Now we're actually going to go before a federal judge and say that some moldy Babylonian god is going to drop in on Central Park West and start tearing up the city. Sumerian, not Babylonian. Yeah, big difference. But I got to get my own lawyer. Okay, Ghostbusters. The mayor wants to see you guys. The whole island's going crazy. Let's go. I got a split. The mayor wants to rap with me about some things. Reginald Valor Johnson, I told you, a stacked cast. I'm so pissed at this EPA guy. The fuck? That view, though, my God. Sigourney Weaver, yeah. I am the key master. I am the gatekeeper. Oh my God. Who let them out? The cop when Reginald Val Johnson showed up. Oh, just kidding. I'm not prepared to make a full report. These men are consummate snowball artists. They use sense and nerve gases to induce hallucinations. People think they're seeing ghosts. And they call these bozos. The people to call him. Show up to deal with people the call them. The fake electronic light show. Everything was fine with our system until the power him. was shut off by Dickless here. They caused an explosion. Is this true? No. Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, lady? Oh. I'm uh, Winston Zettimore, Yana. I've only been with the company for a couple of weeks, but I gotta tell you, these things are real. Since I joined these men, I have seen shit that'll turn you white. I already am. <laughs> what if you're wrong? If I'm wrong, nothing happens. We go to jail peacefully, quietly. We'll enjoy it. But if I'm right, Lenny, you will have saved the lives of millions of registered. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's what he's doing. 
Man, that's so true. I don't believe you're seriously considering listening to these men. You did it. Come on, let's run some red light. Okay, so all of this is happening, and they're like, oh, I don't know what it was. Yeah. Uh, Old Testament, what are you talking about? Like, yeah. look across the street from Central Park. Yeah. I don't understand how you can be, like, religious, like, Christian or anything, and then be like, there's no way this is happening. It's like, the two beliefs don't go Gosh. together. You, know, you can't say, oh, this can't be possible, this can't be happening, and then be like, I am a devout Christian. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. Oh, is this, like, the episode in Buffy the Vampire Slayer when her and Riley are just fucking continuously and causing an energy surge. Yeah, I haven't seen that show, so I don't really know, but sure, we'll go with maybe. But as you can tell, there's also like 30 minutes left, and it's kind of a somewhat of a simple movie. Like, it's very... Mm -hmm. Like, it moves quick, too. It does move very quickly, which is... That's a good thing, because it doesn't sit in anything for very long. It's like, all of this is reminding me of that episode of Buffy. If you seen that episode of Buffy. Tell me your feelings about Buffy. Dude, that EPA guy is gonna get in so much trouble. <laughs> oh my god. All of his friends are gonna talk so much shit to him. Looks like she wore old boy out. They've been having sex. This is literally that episode. You're like, oh, now I get that reference. Yeah, I mean, I, I see where Joss Whedon pulled, could have, could have pulled things from. They were both the gargoyles, right? I believe so, yeah. Which is why they're being placed there in that shot. You can't unsee that. So, she's a dog. Your girlfriend. Woof. Okay. I wonder if the fridge thing happened in old dude's apartment too. Yeah, probably. It's Gozer. I thought Gozer was a man. Whatever it wants to be. Well, whatever it is, it's got to get by us. Right. Go get her, Ray! <laughs> I order you to cease any and all supernatural activity and return forthwith to your place of origin. Or Definitely gonna limit. do that. That ought to do it. Thanks very much, Ray. <laughs> Are you a god? No. Then... they need to do first the gargoyles or the demon ray when someone asks you if you're a god you say they... yes yes <laughs> i mean honestly i don't know why he said no got your stick oh, oh. hit him up Show this prehistoric bitch how we do things downtown. Oh, well, that didn't work. Aim for the flat top. I think you missed. Definitely. One so hard. I feel like if it's that easy, you should realize that it's not that easy. Ray. This looks extraordinarily bad. Choose and perish. What do you mean, choose? We don't understand. Choose. Choose the form of the destructor. Charizard, I choose you! Whatever we think of. If we think of J. Edgar Hoover, 
J. Edgar Hoover will appear and destroy us, okay? So empty your heads. Empty your heads. Don't think of anything. We've only got one shot at this. Godzilla. No. I couldn't help it. King Kong. No. It just popped in there. What? What just popped in there? I... I, I tried to think. Look! Oh, good year. No. Wait, isn't that the it's good year the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man? It's the uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. It's like an in universe thing. It's not a. It's either an in universe thing or like a brand that died in like the 80s, but I'm pretty sure it's like an in universe thing. But they showed us marshmallows earlier, so. Yeah. Damn. Car insurance in New York wasn't already high. Yeah. Something you don't see every day. <laughs> we used to roast Stay Puft marshmallows by the fire at Camp Wakanda. Wakanda forever. We've been going about this all wrong. This Mr. Stay Puft is okay. He's a sailor. He's in New York. If we get this guy laid, we won't have any trouble. <laughs> swings both ways we could reverse the particle flow through the gate how we'll cross the streams excuse me egon you said crossing the streams was bad cross the streams <laughs> he's like i just wanted a stable paycheck <laughs> what are we I doing here Up the whole top of that building. Yeah. You lived. Uh... Spangler! Spankman! Spankman and Spankler? Vankman and oh. Spangler. Oh, okay. I feel like the floor of a taxi cab. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Miss Weaver? Oh, she gone gone? Oh, cool. It would have been funnier if this was the guy first. Somebody turn on the lights! <laughs> Go check on that little guy. <laughs> Boy, the superintendent's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Who you gonna call? All right, Kaja, so that was Ghostbusters. It was. What are your thoughts? I liked it. You did? I mean, we said, I said it in the middle of the movie. Like, I thought it was just going to be a kind of movie, and it was a movie. It felt quick, which yeah. I liked, and loved Miss Sigourney Weaver, so I was, I was in. Yeah? Yeah. Would you watch a sequel? Yeah. I mean... This, if I know people are gonna be like, oh, those later sequels are hot goat trash, but I mean, I I'm fine with watching a sequel or two. Um, did you have a favorite moment? Um, I'm a huge Buffy fan, so that little juxtaposition, juxtaposition, uh, I thought that was cute. No matter how wildly problematic Sixteen Candles is. I love what's her name? Annie, Annie Potts. Annie Potts, yeah. Love her character in it. And this her character in this movie was very similar to the character or her character in Sixteen Candles. Uh I just thought it was a cute movie. Yeah. I mean, I can't really choose like, oh, this was the one part that I was like in love with, but I thought it was cute. Back to Annie Potts. Do you know any other movie she's in besides Sixteen Candles? Not that I can think of off the top of my head, but I know she's been in a bunch of I know of stuff. there's four movies that she was in that you've seen. What? She was Bo Peep in Toy Story. Her voice. Yeah. I I I never put it together. No. Yeah. All right, I think that kind of wraps up our discussion on Ghostbusters. Yes. Um, so, mm -hmm. the new Ghostbusters not getting the best of rev reviews. 
So, if they were to reboot Ghostbusters, I want everyone to comment who they would cast as the new leads in a reboot of the Ghostbusters franchise. Because it's kind of been a struggle to get it off the ground. So I'm curious who people would like to see. Mm -hmm. Uh, Check my comment for who I would cast in a Ghostbusters remake. Don't forget to like, comment the Ghostbusters you'd like to see, and subscribe. And without further ado, goodbye. Bye.